Hi everyone, I hope you're all having a fabulous day. Thank you so much for spending some time with Mary and I today as we do a makeup tutorial. Um, we're gonna do kind of a pink look today and we're going to be using some of the products from Lorella, the box that we got um, from Lorella, um, subscription box that we got. And um, we have some bright pink lipstick that we got from there that I'm excited about. And we got a, a fabulous um, palette from them in this box. And so that's why we thought we would try a pink look. And then on another day, we're going to do like a pink orange look for you. So, um, and we may even do a third look because it, it's, this is like a awesome palette. Now, we did get some other products in the box, but we won't be using those because I don't wear... We, we got lashes and lash glue, and I don't wear lashes because my eyes are so super sensitive that I just stick with mascara. And then this is, what is this? A I curler? Think, I think that this might be. I think that's to, I think that's to help you attach your lashes. It's actually from Sunday Riley. So I think it's actually a skincare thing, if you don't mind me putting it on your face. <laughs> um, we actually just did a skincare video with all, a bunch of Sunday Riley products, so if you guys would like to check that out, you should. But I think this is to apply your eye cream. Oh. Like this. Here, close your eye. And, it, like, you can, like, smooth out lines and stuff mm -hmm. like that with this. Now, you have to be really careful with the skin around your eyes. Yeah. So, I don't know. I think it might, because I don't know what else is the shape. Or it could be for, like, all over your face. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, it could be for, like, all over, because, look, mm -hmm. it really pulls back those cheekbones. So it could be, now, I use my roller for that, and um, we're going we're gonna to do a video showing you how to use the roller. But I use my roller for the lymphatic drainage in my face. Yeah. And so, um, and I really like the roller. Um, we will show you how to use the roller in another video. Um, so hopefully you'll be able to tune in for that. We got a couple little brushes in this box. And then we got a nice little um, pack here nice little makeup pouch this is a very very heavy plastic and there's a little extra little pouch too so this is kind of a nice on the go yeah bag. yeah and so. i do think this is a really awesome box because um i don't know if you guys saw the name of the palette but it is geared towards um the music festival coachella which just happened i think a weekend or two ago and so when you're going to Coachella, a lot of people camp there. Some people um, get hotels or Airbnbs. And so I think it's really awesome that they sent something to put your makeup in. Um, because some of the people who are getting this box might be going to the festival and might need a bag like this um, going there. Especially because... You know, your stuff can get messed up and stuff like that. And this is a really sturdy bag where your makeup won't get wet or damaged or broken. Um, mm -hmm. So I think that's really cool. I think that they kind of purposed it for yeah. that, which is awesome. I, yeah, I like the way they theme their boxes that way. Yeah. Where everything kind of goes together. We were talking about that with our Macy's box, how all the skincare products work together. They actually give you the routine to use. And Lorella is very similar in that they usually have a nice theme where everything goes together. Yeah. Now, I pay $25 for this box. I get a subscription every month. This month's box had $88 worth of product in it. So it is a good deal. And, I mean, this palette alone yeah. I, yeah, is just, let me see, what was the price on that? Yeah, this palette alone was $21. So, um... We're going to go ahead and do our makeup routine. Um, we already did our face cleaning, so... Um, I think I, we also forgot to mention, we got two brushes from yeah, them I mentioned as well. That. 
Oh, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. I just want to make sure. But yeah, super cute brushes. I'm excited to use those as well. And, um... I'm going to put my little headband on so we don't get makeup in my hair. But yeah, it's so nice because everything is geared towards um, the festival and and possible festival goers, which is really, really awesome, I mm -hmm. think. Even the lashes are like festival style mm -hmm. lashes. We've gotten lashes from them before that are a little more natural. I mean, look how huge these are. And they have a little bit of red on the side. Like they are definitely yeah. festival. Yeah, if definitely. you guys have ever seen people go to festivals, they kind of go big or go home. So, mm -hmm. um, so yeah, like she said, we won't be using the like, lash glue in the lashes today, but we did want to show those to you guys. Mm -hmm. So, first things first, we're going to prime the face. That's the first thing we always do. And I'm going to go ahead and brush. use a flat Lorella brush. If you guys haven't seen our last Lorella video, or I think it was two Lorella videos ago. We um, love this box so much. So it's like, we've oh, gotten it a few times. <laughs> this is like one of my favorites, actually. Um, they actually gave us an entire brush kit with a ton of brushes in it. The brushes aren't in there, but it came in that cute little Yeah, packaging. we just washed all our brushes, so we haven't put them back yet. But, um... So we're gonna use this flat brush, and we just use this to put the primer on the face. Now I use the pharmacy primer. That's my favorite. Ooh. And yes, this we're coming is... to the end, but I think I have a new bottle. If not, I better get it ordered. This is, like, my favorite primer. So this is the pharmacy... VFX Pro Camera Ready Perfecting Makeup Primer, especially since we're doing makeup on camera. We like to use this primer a lot. Mm -hmm. This is kind of our holy grail, if you will. I have a little bit on my hand. Okay. I'm just going to put it on your face. And you want to um, put your primer all over. Neck and face and everywhere. Neck, the cliche, everything, your primer. Now, one thing that I have noticed, and so I want to share it with you, is you should not put your makeup directly on your primer. So you, I mean, you do put it on your face directly after your primer, but your primer needs to um, set. set. So make sure that you let your primer set before you put your makeup on. So what, what I do is I do the primer, Sorry. I was trying to make the video go faster for them. That's why I was doing it. Okay. So. Okay. Then the next one, did you get the lip plumper out? No, I didn't. It's right here. Okay. Then what I do after I do my primer is I do my lip plumper because those are two things. First, the primer needs to penetrate and the lip plumper needs to do its work as well. So you don't want to do your lip plumper and then directly put on your lipstick. So that's what I do. My lip plumper on. Lip plumper. Lip, lip plumper. plumper. <laughs> and my favorite is the pharmacy one. Um, are we keeping it all over there? Yeah. Um, next, now, next we will do the eye concealer. So yeah, this is the pharmacy makeup um, Pro to Fit eyeshadow primer. Mm -hmm. It looks like this. And I just put this all over the lid. So I'm going to take a flat brush. Okay, so this is my third step. So primer, lip plumper, and then I put the eye primer on. And I put that all over the eyelid. Even if I'm not going to wear eye makeup, it's nice to put this on the eyelid because it kind of, as you notice, gets rid of that red. So put it there. And if my eyes are really red underneath, I'll put it there too. But today, I think we're going to let our makeup do the covering for the red. So that's my third step. And I kind of carve out the bottom of the brows with this as well when I'm doing her makeup. And I just make sure to get that all now, over the lid. Now, if you're going to use a brow gel, you would put that on after or you put your concealer on or you could put it on before. I tend to not do much with my brows. 
So, um, yeah, so you would probably do, if you do your brows, you'd probably want to go ahead and do them, um, like maybe right before this step, but we don't do brows for her, so we're just going to leave it like that. So once the eye primer's on, we're going to get into the fun part, which is the eyeshadow, this beautiful eyeshadow palette. Okay, so one, of, there's two reasons for putting the makeup on later. One, let your primer set. Two, if you have any fallout when you're doing your eyeshadow, um, it's a lot easier to come off and you're not messing up your makeup, yeah. you know, with the fallout from your eyeshadow because most eyeshadows are going to give you some fallout. So first we're gonna go in, well, we're gonna use this palette. It's absolutely gorgeous and it comes with the mirror here, which is really nice. It has a detachable mirror. Yeah, I like that too because like we said it was like a festival type thing so yeah so you they can, can actually put their just mirror. you can actually just check your makeup like this and you don't have a have to have a separate compact. Yeah. So I, I like that too. And it magnet magnetically sticks to that. <laughs> yeah this is like really really innovative for a festival because you just you bring the one palette and you say hey I don't want to hold my palette. I'm gonna put my palette down but I still need to apply my makeup, so yeah. you dip in your palette and you do your makeup there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I yeah. Like so, we're going to do some pink today, which I'm very excited about. Um, first of all, we're going to use this color called Desert Skies. We're going in bold here today. And I'm just going to use this flat, er, flat kind of fluffy brush from the Lorella brush kit that we got a few times ago. And I'm going to have you kind of... This way, look at me. And I am just going to put this right in the crease. If you guys watch a lot of our videos, you know I love to start in the crease. It's kind of almost the easiest spot to start in. Um, and then you can expand from there. So that's why I really love going in the crease first. And I'm going to do a V. So I'm putting it here. Here, I'm going to face you this way again. So I'm putting it here like this blending it into the crease and packing it on and then I'm also going to do a V and go towards the lash line and bring that out and um, then we will decide what kind of line we're going to make on the outer eye when we get to that step. So usually I either do like a crisp line or I'll make it more um, rounded if I want more of a rounded eye outer eye because the shape of your um, eyeshadow also really really matters. So, I'm just going to go ahead and blend this out with the same brush. And this is very pigmented. Like, yeah. I've really <clears throat> not put that much on, and it is, like, there. It's like, hi, I'm pink. <laughs> and, you know, $21 for that palette is not a bad price. Oh, yeah, for sure. That's a re really, really amazing Especially price. Especially when so. you get, you know, so pigmented. Yeah. So, I'm just going to kind of... The brush kind of wants to stick to the um, eyeshadow primer, so if you're having that problem, I would suggest going ahead and just patting your shadow into place, and then once it's on there, you can use a separate brush to, um, to blend it. That's another tip, but I'm just going to pack it on there and then use the same brush to kind of blend it out, and I probably will go in with a blending brush in just a second as well. So I'm just going to make sure both eyes are even, both creases have the same kind of look. And I kind of want this pink to be sort of diffused into the brow bone, like I don't want it to be very prominent when it comes to up here. So I am going to blend all that out because it is very prominent right there right now. And I'm going to deepen up the crease. Okay, so now that we kind of have all that color on there. Okay, so the next step after you get the color is to go ahead and do your blending. Actually, I'm going to put a little more color here to make it more even. Look at me straight ahead. Okay, so now I'm going to take this fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to go ahead and blend all of my edges out. 
any harsh lines, you're going to want to blend, blend, blend those. And you can kind of start going ahead and blending this into this sort of inner corner area, but don't cover up this whole white part we have in the inner corner. Just kind of lightly blend it into it, like a light, like a nice gradient. But we're going to keep this space open, so you don't want to blend the pink into it. So we're going to blend this really well, especially because it is such a bright, bright pink. We want to make sure it's really, really well blended and I'm just going to define the corner here a little more just because I had a couple spots that I had missed so I'm defining that and just keep blending just keep blending just keep blending <laughs> so here look at me Okay, so now that you have everything all nice and beautifully blended, are you going to sneeze? Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now that you have everything all nice and blended, like so, I'm going to go ahead and, um, I don't think I mentioned this, but this is uh, going to be a one color look today, so we're only using pinks for today's look. Um, the awesome thing about it is that we can use different pinks and make it look totally cool. So, mm -hmm. um, we're going to use this color called Cella. I forgot to mention the first color I use is called Desert Skies. And, um, this next color I'm going to take on this brush that we got from them. It's a LC29 brush from Lorella. It's like flat and small. And we're just going to take that on the flat side of this brush. And we're going to pack that on the brush like so. We're going to do a little tap. And we're going to pack this right here in the inner corner area that we had left open before. And you want to, I do want to keep this like mostly on the lid. So keep it towards the lid area. You can even make like a little, I'm making like a little line type of thing here. And then I'm going to blend this into the... Um, other color that we had used before. It's a pretty pink. I know it's beautiful. It's like frosted almost. Yeah, it's like a frosty pink. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I like that pink. So we're just going to blend that out into the pink that we have done before, keeping it in the lid area. And we're going to do the same thing on the other eye, just keeping that all in the lid section of the eye. And you're just going to pack it on, like I mentioned, just pack it on there. Now we're not going to blend this pink very much because it is a glittery pink. Um, and we want that glitter to really shine. Um, so that's why we did a lot of blending just a second ago. So we can um, have a nice pretty blended look without getting rid of this beautiful color that we're using. I'm going to have you look at me. And this is definitely like Barbie pink. I think it's so beautiful. Both of these colors are absolutely gorgeous. So I'm really loving this look so far. 
Okay, so I know I said we we're not going to do much blending, and we're not, but I am going to take this fluffy brush and kind of just diffuse that glitter into the, just blending out the edge right here of where we put the glitter and blending out that matte color into the glitter a little bit. And this is a really good glitter. Like, this glitter is not going away. It's blending very well. And it still looks beautiful after. Not, I, I mean, I don't blending. even see any fallout. Yeah. There's a little here. Mm -hmm. And in your inner corners, because I really packed it in your mm -hmm. inner corner. But for the most part, not as bad as we usually would have. Yeah, because glitters really do tend to have a lot of... A lot of fallout, yeah. Yeah. So I just wiped clean the brush that we used. We used this little thing to wipe our brushes clean. Um, so I wiped it clean, and now I'm going to put a different color on her inner corner. I think I'm going to go ahead and use this color called Vibin. Right here, it's kind of like a pinky-ish color, but it has like a lot of silver in it. So I really wanted her inner corners to have like a pop of like a silver or like a different color so it's like a silvery like pinky kind of color and I'm just gonna put that all in the inner corner of her eye and I'm gonna take it up a little bit into the look I'm gonna take it up here a little bit and we're just gonna pack that in all in the inner corner like the entire area is gonna be and this, and this color is like really good if you're trying to create a wet look. These colors up here, especially this color Vibin and VIP and Camp Out, they're all really good like wet look kind of colors, which is so fun. I love wet looks. They look very beautiful. Um, and then I'm just going to put a slight little bit here in the middle just to add some pizzazz and to match that inner corner so I'm just gonna put it right in the middle where I blended together like those colors where I blended together the matte and the glitter just to give that really pop of glitter on the eye and to really make it stand out and I really love this color vibin it's probably my favorite color in the palette I think at this point so that, that would even be nice with a purple eye look oh, because it has yeah. a little bit of a hint, uh -huh. just a faint hint of lavender. I think it would be beautiful with a, a blue or purple or, of course, a pink like mm -hmm. this. I think it has undertones of all mm -hmm. of them, and it's definitely like a lavenderish color, yeah. but it could go with it's very pretty. anything. Yeah, it's very pretty. Okay, so now we're done with the eyes. And I really love this kind of one color look on her. It looks very pretty. Mm -hmm. um, so I like now, the one color looks to myself. But when we say one color, it doesn't mean that we're using one eyeshadow for the whole eyelid. Yeah. We are still using our three colors, but they're all in the same family. So yeah. this is like all in the pink family. Yeah. So um, I do like, I like those kinds. Yeah. So Especially when one has a shimmer, like with this one. One was a... Matte. Black the matte. One had a light glitter, and one had a light shimmer. And to me, that's perfect. Yeah. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and use our concealer. Um, this is the Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape Concealer. Um, we use pretty much a lot of the same facial products each time we do. I actually need to wipe some fallout. Also, you here. We use pretty much the same kind of stuff when it comes to base makeup, which is really nice, so you guys can probably follow really easily using your own base makeup and stuff. I'm going to have you look up. So right now I'm just wiping out any fallout. I did get some fallout from that inner corner. Make sure you're patting rather than rubbing. There you go. <clears throat> Sometimes it's hard to remind yourself to pat <laughs> but that is one way to help um, not get so many eye wrinkles in. so yeah that pink definitely does not want to come off in certain spots <laughs> it's here. like i'm here to stay <laughs> yeah so we got we got all the pink off of her under eye okay. and now we're going to go ahead and use that concealer 
after she takes a drink of her tea. <laughs> um, I just feel like I need some hydration today. Yeah, it's quite warm today. Warmer than it has been. Just going to get a little. Um, so I just, I with the under eyes, I like to do like one side at a time. And I'm just going to use the same flat brush I used for the eyeshadow primer. Um, and then I'm also going to use a beauty blender to blend out that concealer. So first thing I do is I kind of... That would be a damp beauty blender? Yeah. That you want your beauty blender to be damp? Yes, please dampen your beauty blender. Don't use it dry because it's just not going to work the same. Um, and you want to bring that out really well before you go ahead and use it. I tried to catch it. I know, I saw. <laughs> Sorry. You did your best. Yeah. We did our best. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to use this little brush and I'm going to make sure to get into all of the crevices of her eye and this really just helps me diffuse the concealer and also clean up the ends. So what I like to do is tilt your head that way a little bit. What I like to do is take this and I like to make a very distinct line where I'm ending the um, shadow. So I did kind of a curved line today. Normally I go very like straight, but I wanted more of a curved edge. So that's a really nice thing about eyeshadow is that you can literally make the ends of it however you want and it, it changes the shape of your eye, like definitely. Mm -hmm. This looks so much different than that side. So um, yeah, I just use this also to get in the little crevices to be able to get close to her lash line so she doesn't have like missing concealer spots. <laughs> so I use this to get really nice and close and really diffuse that makeup and then I will use the beauty blender and I just blend out everything and I blend out all the edges and I just make sure everything gets nice and blended into her face and I use the brush along with the beauty blender so I don't just use one they're kind of a package deal in this scenario to where I will use both and you want to be careful, especially like right here, so you don't have to re-clean up your concealer, like I just had to do. <laughs> um, but yeah, you want to be careful with your beauty blender over there. Make sure it's not changing the shape of where you want your concealer. This also helps me to get in next to her nose, um, because... Her nose has some tiny little crevices mm -hmm. that are hard to get into sometimes. And then um, I'm also being very careful with this inner corner highlight here so that it doesn't move. Here, look up. And then I'm going to just lightly make sure that this is all blended. I think concealer is one of the most important parts to makeup in my opinion. Just because it can really change the way your face looks. I mean, look at the difference between that side and this side. It's a big difference. And it really brightens you up and makes you look very awake and stuff like that. So we're going to do the same thing to the other side. I just do like one here and one going upwards. Like so. I'm going to put a little more in there because... And then, same thing, just diffuse it into the eye area. Here, look at me straight on. And when you do this, you want to make sure that your ends of your concealer are matching up so that you don't have one going like this way and one going upwards and you know so you want to make sure to get your line really crisp as well and then in the corner I like to do like a little line there too look up
Okay, so now I take that and I just blend with the beauty blender. Making sure to blend all my edges out. And sometimes the brush, I use the brush a little more, sometimes I'm blending with the blender a little more, it just depends on how it feels with it. Oops, that's the wrong side of the brush. <laughs> okay. So there we have our concealer. Next, we're going to use foundation. We're going to use the e.l.f. Flawless Skin Foundation. And we're just going to put this all over her face and neck. So I'm just going to do a pump oop, on all four sides of her face. And um, I mostly use the Beauty Blender for this, but I will use the brush to kind of get it where it needs to go a little bit. So I use the brush to diffuse it. Same thing with um, how I do the concealer. Just make sure I have enough for every spot of the face. And then I go ahead and blend that out with the Beauty Blender. And that just leaves for a very nice, smooth um, application. Because as you can see, it's way easy for me to just blend all this into her face. And you want to just keep your blender in the same spot as where you had distributed it before. Like if I have a part up here that I did, I'm just going to keep it there. And I'm going to move here and blend that sort of thing. And then of course you want to make sure your concealer blends into it as well. So make sure you blend that concealer in. I also use the brush to, like I said, get those small crevices in her nose. Like so, yeah, and those ones too. <laughs> and then I blend the neck. really is good too because when you're pouting it like that it helps with the blood circulation oh. in your face. Can I have that brush? Oh, this one? Let's see. Is there any left on it? Oh, I did, yeah, the tip of her nose too. I always forget that. <laughs> I do need powder. Mm -hmm. You good? Okay. Do you have a brush over there that you want to use? Yeah, I could use one of these. Okay. Um, so, ah, sorry. <laughs> so next we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Setting Powder in the color Translucent. Um, we're just going to use this to set the entire face, all the concealer and everything. And I do like to do a certain thing with the concealer when I powder it. So I will show you that right now, 
right now in a second. <laughs> okay, so what I like to do is I like to go ahead and take the beauty blender and I have a little bit of powder in the lid of my um, container right now and then I'm going to use a, this is technically a highlighting brush but we do have another, well actually, hmm. okay, I lied, sorry. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to use this flat brush that actually came in the Lorella palette. It's dense enough and um, kind of angled enough to where it's perfect for this. So this is the um, one that came in this month's box. This is the LC08 brush. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm going to have her look up. And first I'm going to pack my brush with some powder. So get some powder on your brush. And while your powder's on your brush, you're going to take your beauty blender. And you can also use the little brush. I think that might be better if I can find it. It's a little white flat. Okay, I'm going to use a little white flat brush, or you can use your beauty blender like I was just doing. And look up. You're going to make sure to... You just want to make sure that all of your lines, because your concealer will start creasing almost instantly, but what you're going to do is blend out that creasing, and once everything is not creased, you're going to powder it directly afterwards, so that creasing does not try to come back. And that's how you can prevent creasing in your under eye and I just kind of pat that on and I almost bake it I just leave it there until I do the rest of the powder so I do the same thing on the other eye and this is just one small step that can really help with the creasing of your um, concealer luckily foundation doesn't crease that quickly um, but since, since concealer is like a little bit thicker mm -hmm. it will crease very quickly. And this is like the perfect brush for this. This perfectly mm -hmm. fits under the eyes. I actually really love this brush and it's, it's very soft. So, Good so brush. when she talks about baking, basically we're leaving that on um, for oh, you know, a, little while, bit, yeah. for a little bit while we're powdering the rest of the face. Then we'll go back and, and just kind of gently dust it off. And that's called baking in case you haven't heard of that. So I'm also going to do the temple and these, I'm just putting it at points where I want to make sure that the face sets a little better. Especially if you are doing a look like this for a festival. You're going to be there all day. You need your makeup to stay in place. So I'm just putting it in places where I want powder to um, be a little more prominent. Because when I do go over the rest of the face, it's going to be very light. So I'm just kind of putting this in like the T-zone area, places where you would normally get oily. And I also put on the jawline to kind of define it a little bit because it is slightly brightening. Um, so I put that on the main points of the face. And now I'm going to go ahead and do blush. We're going to use the e.l.f. blush in the color blushing. And I'm just going to use this fluffy Lorella brush. I'm going to take some product on the side of it, like so, and I'm just going to pat that onto her cheeks. And um, I haven't put powder here yet, so this is basically her powder um, for that section, which is really good because that means her blush will stay all day long. So instead of powdering this section with more powder, um, with blush on top of powder, we're just going to use the blush mm -hmm. as the powder so we're not putting mm -hmm. so much powder on our face. Yeah. The only time you really would need to powder is if you're using like a cream blush. Yeah. But if you're using a powder blush, you really don't need to put more powder on there. And then I'm just going to blend that out. And I think this is a perfect blush for this look. It's just very pinky and mm -hmm. cute. And then I put a little bit on her nose always just to give her that kind of sun-kissed sort of look. So, now that we have blended the blush, I'm going to go ahead and powder the rest of her face. Um, this is where you always 
always. This is where you would probably put contour on too before you powder the rest of the face. If you were to contour, you would put it here. Um, I do. I am going to put highlighter after I mm -hmm. after I powder, but I'm just going to lightly powder. I'm just going to dust dust it. So I'm putting just a tiny bit of powder on a big fluffy brush. I'm shaking it off and I'm just lightly powdering the face so it doesn't look too and neck. Don't forget the neck. You want to powder that as well. And then I'm going to have you look up and I'm going to wipe this off. I'm just going to diffuse that back into the face. And yeah, you just want to make sure nothing feels sticky and just kind of go over anywhere that does and you're done. So once you have the face all powdered, you're going to go ahead and I you can put highlight after your powder or you can put it before. I'm going to put it after um, just because that's what I just have normally always done. But I do put the blush before, so it's a little Unless confusing. you're using a cream highlighter. Yeah. Because you always want to put powder over cream. Yes. So I'm just going to take this um, fluffy kind of highlighting Lorella brush. And I'm using the color Vibin. I want it to match the eyes, so I'm going to just go ahead and put this on her cheekbones. Sorry. And reach you okay? Yeah. I'm just kind of awkward over here. <laughs> And then I'm going to put a little tiny bit on the end of her nose and just kind of give her some glow because we did really, really mattify her face a second ago. So we want to add some shine and some glow. So I don't look like a walking dead to... person with pink eyeshadow on. <laughs> um, and then I pretty much blended the highlight with that um, brush so it looks like that. And then now we're just going to finish up the eyes. I like to do this last because it's easier. Um, we're going to be using the Milk Makeup High Rise Mascara. We've been liking this mascara lately. We got that in one of our beauty boxes too. Was, yes. It was, was it a Lord? Ipsy? Ipsy. I think it was Ipsy. 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 So um, we're just going to put this on the eyes. Being very careful of that beautiful eyeshadow look. <laughs> As you can see, it really added some dimension to the eyes. And I'm just going to do a little tiny bit at the bottom just to give it some more. Okay, then I'm going to do the other eye. Up again. Okay. So now that we have the mascara done, um, we're gonna. Are you okay? Yeah, my eyes are starting to water. Uh -oh. Um, last but not least, 
The um, last thing we're going to do is use this beautiful lipstick. This is in the color Alex. And we're just going to put this on the lips. And I think this is a beautiful kind of like fuchsia color. Um, it really matches the kind of look that we're going for. And even if we did like orange or blue or something, I think it would match really well. Just because it's a really versatile lipstick. Look at the So it didn't come with a liner, but we don't always use liners, so that's okay. I know a lot of people use liners with every lipstick, but we don't normally use a liner unless it comes with a liner. Like that. And that is so beautiful. I believe it is a matte, so hopefully it will stay for a while. Here, let me see the bottom. Look at me. Yeah. Translucent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one's translucent. Okay. Yeah, this one. I just want to show them how it looks because I have problems with my lipstick staying on. And, um. So, we're going to use some of this Anastasia translucent powder to um, do a little lipstick just hack. wanted to show you, yeah, how you could. And so, basically, you put a tissue or something in between your brush and the lips uh, because you don't want your lips to turn out like weird looking. So you put a tissue in between it and you take a good amount of powder and wait just put one layer. I don't want it to not be on there. So there you go. And then we're just going to powder the lips. And don't breathe this in by accident. <laughs> be careful. We're just going to powder the whole lip area. We're going to put quite a lot um, and the powder does get through the tissue, so don't worry. Mm -hmm. um, but this is just a little lipstick hack. I think I first saw this hack back in like 2016. Mm -hmm. Like this has been a thing for a while. Mm -hmm. I'm getting your lips right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now we're going to take it off. And boom. It is a little lighter than before, but it will um, keep your lipstick on for a while, which especially with a festival type of look, mm -hmm. you want your makeup on all day long. Mm -hmm. So last but not least, to lock in that makeup all day long, we're going to use this Pharmacy Makeup Time Locker. It says, have more fun, long-lasting makeup, fixer spray for all skin types. So we're just going to spray this all over her face. And neck. I'm just going to fan her a little bit. We're going to use the Lorella paper to do that. <laughs> Thank you, Lorella. They're really, they really are, I accidentally hit you guys, I'm sorry. They really are multi-purpose. Um, did this one? I think it's just really long. Okay. Oh, maybe it did? I don't know. Maybe the wet got to it. It, it kind of looks like there's, yeah. Yeah. That one just pit, like, your eyelash over there was just like, yeah, I'm going to pick this up really long. So, let's see if it was... My, my bottom lashes are kind of long, and they really like that milk mascara for reals. Yeah. Look up. So, I'm just patting that. Look up. And I'm going under her lashes because mascara is under her lashes. I think that's better. A little. Uh, I am going to... One thing, that, another tip that we want to give you, or I'd like to share with you, is if you get mascara on your face, wait till it dries. Yeah. And then use the little, um, I know you I have the spoolie brush, that's this one here, I'm gonna dry. to get it off. And um, that usually oh, yeah. works pretty good. We have this. I don't need a hand dryer. Yeah. 
So we're just using a little fan to make sure, and you can do this with your setting spray. I see a lot of people do this. Um, and this just really helps everything set into place. And we're trying to set that ma I'll get it in a second. We're trying to set that mascara so we can kind of do the little trick on it. So I'm just gonna dry her face here. <laughs> Look up. I know it's drying to your eyes. Mm. Okay, I'm hoping that it is better now, so let's try it. I don't know, what was it that fell? It was the lid to this. Oh, it's okay. clear, so we'll get oh, I'll just be careful. I just don't want to roll over it with a chair. Yeah, look up. So we're just going to use this, and you want to go very lightly, because we have been talking about how the eyes are very delicate. Yeah. So you want to just lightly kind of scrape it off. And I find that this does work better when you get like a piece of mascara like right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. um, that happens to us all the time. <laughs> um, look up. Although she's getting pretty good at putting mascara on other people. Yeah. That lash just really wanted all that mascara. It really just was like, hey, I'm, I'm going to take this. Is that cool? <laughs> <laughs> So now it does have a little black, like a lot of black actually there. So I'm going to take this little brush and it does have like a little remain of concealer on it. So I'm not actually putting concealer, but I'm just going to use the excess on here. And I'm going to go under the lash because um, you don't want to get more of it on the, onto the brush. So I'm just going to go underneath the lash line and fix that. Look up. And I'm lightly taking my beauty blender and trying to diffuse some of that makeup onto there as well. It looks a little, it looks better. Mm -hmm. For sure. Definitely. Um, I'm just going to make the other eye even on the bottom and put a little more bottom mascara over here. Sometimes so when they when they stick together, I'll use the you know the little mustache tiny mustache combs. Mm -hmm. um, I'll use the tiny little mustache comb uh, combs to make sure that. Oh yeah, they're all they're all separated. Separated, yeah. yeah. Because sometimes some mascaras just want to clunk it all together. Yeah, that's kind of what happened here with the bottom lashes. But it's really amazing for the top lashes. Your top lashes look amazing, but this one does kind of clump at the bottom. So that's the bad thing about it. But I think it looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. I think it looks pretty even. So, so we're just going to take her hair out so we can show you guys the final reveal. Because I feel like no makeup look is is complete without your hair. Definitely. You either do nothing or do it all. Yeah. <laughs> Just fixing our bangs here, making them a little more fluffy. There we have it. This is our Lorella Fest um, April Lorella box. Look. In pink. In pink. It's the pink, pink, pink look. Yes. And I, I like doing pink. I hope you like it, Mama. That was her favorite color. No. Pink. <laughs> so um, I know putting the powder on my lips made them a little redder, but um, you can always put the powder on your lips before. Yeah. So, you know, if you don't want to lose your color. Yeah. Also, a lot of the 24-hour um, lip things, uh, lipsticks, they have like this little conditioner thing that you put over it. 
and um, those are nice too at helping your lipstick to stay more because I don't know what it is about my lips but but yeah your my lipstick, lips are like your lipstick never wants to stay in place it doesn't <laughs> it always wants to go I'll look in the mirror and go what a <laughs> <laughs> we hope that you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up give we would appreciate up. it so much share it with your friends anyone who might be interested either in the Lorella subscription box or in um, this a makeup look pink yeah. a pink makeup look um you know send them on over share the video with them if you haven't subscribed, we would love it if you would subscribe because yes, we, we like to share the makeup looks with the most people possible. Those of you who have subscribed, thank you so much for being part of our YouTube beauty family. We appreciate you tremendously. Um, let us know in the comments what you thought about this look. And is this a look that you might try on yourself? Um, if so, take a picture. We'd like to see it. I don't know. Can you put pictures in there? I don't know. But um, let us know what you thought about it. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.